What's going on, Storehouse family? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying the week. Uh, it's been a while since uh, I've made one of these uh, update videos. If you remember back in August, uh, I had mentioned um, I wasn't going to be doing one for the remainder of August or for September, just so that we would move in and transition into the incubator. And so here we are in October and things are running a lot smoother. We're settling in, we're sorting things out, and by God's grace, things are running along. I hope you guys have been uh, enjoying and encouraged uh, through our time in the series uh, Faith in Action, our, our study in the book of James. Uh, it's been a tremendous blessing to, to me. It's been a tremendous conviction to me in my time of study, so I pray the same for y'all. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm really encouraged about the season that we find ourselves in. And so for this, uh, for this month, I want to give you just a couple of updates on what's been going on behind the scenes and, uh, and really what's coming up. And so the first announcement um, uh, entails one of our elder candidates, Sean Penny. He is uh, a deacon at Storehouse. He leads uh, uh, youth, and uh, he's been doing uh, quite a few things behind the scenes. One of the areas of ministry that he's going to be pretty much uh, leading and taking over is going to be member care. And so for those of you who are watching this video and you're new to Storehouse, uh, what we do is uh, once a month, we try to provide a, a monthly update via video, just kind of letting you know what's going on behind the scenes, how are things going. Uh, once every quarter, we have a family members meeting. Uh, same thing, providing updates or celebrating things that God is doing in and around Storehouse. And so Sean Penny is going to be leading this ministry. So the next time you see a video update for November, you're going to see Sean. Uh, so pray for him uh, as he leads this ministry. In light of that, uh, the second announcement is regarding December. Uh, in December, we're going to have our last family members meeting for the year. We're going to talk everything from budget and generosity and what God has been uh, doing this entire year at Storehouse. My goal, my hope for this is for it to be a huge celebration of the grace of God. And so I would encourage all of you to attend. More than likely, we're going to have this at the Old Church Winery. Uh, again, this is going to be in December. Uh, when November rolls around, we'll give you the time and the dates, and we'll also be announcing it via uh, the pulpit. Uh, the third announcement, a couple of months ago, I came to leadership and asked them if uh, they would be okay, if they would essentially give me permission to take some time off. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, they pretty much gave me the thumbs up, uh, particularly some of the guys that I that I sought after were James Belleville and Sean Penny, who are two of our elder candidates. And so in asking them, um, I asked for some time off so that my family and I, especially my wife and I, so that we can regroup, refocus after uh, the kind of season that we just finished walking out of. Um, as far as my marriage is concerned, we're doing really, really well, but this is a good time for us just to connect, regroup, refocus, enjoy one another, uh, get some time off, get some breathing time uh, so that we can finish the year, so that I can finish the year well. And so uh, that time starts next week. Uh, as far as Sundays are concerned, um, Ruben de Goyalo, sorry, I had a brain fart for a second. Ruben de Goyalo out in the Harlingen campus at Logos Harlingen will be preaching both Sundays. We're going to stay in the book of James, and so he's going to he's going to follow along with where we've been going. And so I would encourage you, I would ask you as your pastor to pray for Ruben as he prepares to deliver the messages uh, regarding James. Um, I would encourage you, I would implore you to make him feel welcome. Uh, he originally came out of McAllen and then was sent to Harlingen. So I would uh, ask you to welcome him. I would ask you to take care of him. I would ask you to take care of his family as they come in for two weeks. Um, I will be here on the 29th uh, sitting under Pastor Ruben's teaching. I just will not be preaching. So I'm looking forward to that. In the past, when Ruben has preached, I've loved it. He's one of my favorite uh, teachers. I learned a lot from him, and he's spoken a lot into my life in the past. And so that's kind of the announcement number three. But as far as that goes, I would covet your prayers as my wife and I, my wife Rebecca and I, get some, get some time away. Uh, again, to regroup, reconnect, spend time alone with the Lord, um, really in communion with Him, uh, growing in our relationship uh, with Him individually, and then growing in our relationship in light of Him maritally. And so I would covet your prayers as we spend some, some time away. And then the fourth announcement that I have, and this is where I'll end it. I know we're getting to the five minute mark, but the fourth announcement that I have is regarding our volunteer staff. And so a couple of months ago, I got to introduce you guys 
to all the, 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 the men and women who kind of run everything behind the scenes, whether it's on Sunday or during the week. Uh, we have a tremendous team. I'm incredibly blessed to be uh, and humbled to be a part of this team. And so, uh, again, if you're new, you're wondering who those people are, uh, visit our website, storehousemckellen.com, and go to our leadership page, and you'll see everyone that's on there. Uh, now, the reason I bring them up, uh, because we've come out of such a crazy season, moving, sorting things out, getting settled, uh, learning um, what kinks we have and trying to smooth those things out, uh, I just wanted to bring these men and women up to you to let you know to pray for them. Pray for them as they have been doing a ton of work behind the scenes. Some of them have uh, changed their work schedules so that they can spend a little bit more time uh, either developing leaders or discipling or spending more time on Saturday nights getting things ready for Sunday morning. And so uh, this goes out to, to Izzy who leads our worship band. This is Everett who runs our production crew. This is Sean who uh, not just does not only does announcements and a few um, select things on Sunday mornings, but who's about to take care of uh, member care, who's an elder candidate as well. Uh, James Belville, who's also a deacon, um, and he leads our Sunday morning teams. Uh, this goes out to, um, oh my gosh, I'm missing everybody. JC, who is our kids director and does a tremendous job. Uh, job. Uh, Julie Degollado, who's our finance director. Uh, Nathaniel Summers, who's been our, our missions director, but is on furlough uh, for the fall, hopefully returning in December. Um, and so these are all the different men and women who contribute to uh, what happens in and around storehouse during the week and on Sundays. And so when you see them on Sundays, hug them, pray for them, pray for their families, take them out to lunch. They have been doing a tremendous job for the past couple of months. I know they will continue to do so, but in doing so, I know that they're getting tired. So please, please pray for them. If you serve on a team with them, uh, lighten their load um, as, they, as they continue to develop you and as they continue to disciple. If you're not serving on a team, uh, get with James Beldell, who leads our Sunday morning teams. He'll get you plugged in to an area so that we could uh, not just develop some teams, but leaders. Um, so that more and more people would contribute to not just the kingdom, but to the work of ministry as Ephesians 4 says. And so when you see these men and women around, hug them, pray for them, tell them you love them, tell them thank you because they do a tremendous amount of work. And uh, again, I am blessed and humbled to even be in the same room as these men and women because they are awesome. Uh, those are all of the announcements I have. Uh, sorry I went a little bit long, uh, just a lot since it's been a while. Uh, but once again, I love you guys. I will see you on Sunday. If you have any questions, visit the website or you can reply to this email. Uh, I love you guys and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.